will take an overview of the Activate architecture. Activate is broke down into 10 work streams and six phases. We can see the various tasks that are necessary for a typical implementation in the diagram here. We can see the various work streams down the rows and across the top, the various phases going from left to right in terms of time as the project continues. We will explore these in the following slides. So let's take a minute to talk through the various work streams that go into the Activate implementation methodology. The first one should be familiar to all of you that have been through a project, project management. There's the overall project management, there's technical management, and then quality management to ensure that the various steps are taking place in the correct order, as well as in the correct technical functionality, and also to make sure that everything is proceeding correctly. In the beginning and towards the start of the project, there's solution adoption, and that is where the teams will meet to determine the method that they're going to use, the transition method, and also the approach that will be used for the implementation. Next, there's design and configuration. And throughout the process, we, the implementation team will be taking a look at SAP standard, and then they will be doing a fit gap analysis to compare SAP standard with the needs of the organization and find where changes need to be made, either in the processes of the organization or with the SAP installation to meet the needs of the organization. Analytics will track and measure the project performance over time. Custom code extensions will be the RICE FW analysis and creation. Oftentimes this is coming out of the design and configuration steps above. Testing, of course, will be necessary. There'll be integration tests, regression tests to make sure that changes that are introduced later do not cause problems with other processes. And of course, UAT at the end for the users to conduct final sign off of the solution and integration with other uh, applications that are part of the landscape at the enterprise systems and data migration towards the end where master data and the data architecture are set up so that HANA S4 can work correctly either on the cloud or at the on-premise installation. Technical architecture and infrastructure would be the hardware build which would be necessary for on-premise installations and this step would not be necessary for the cloud because that would be taken care of by the hosting partner and would be considered part of the systems and data migration steps. And finally, the transition to operation would be the go live and IT support for operations, which is primarily an on-premise task. SAP has divided the Activate methodology into six different phases. The first phase is the Discover phase, in which SAP S4 HANA is introduced to the enterprise, both management and end users, and the team will develop strategies and a roadmap for the project going forward. So the broad brush strategies for the implementation project will be set up in this phase. The next is the prepare phase in which the plans that were begun in the discover phase will be finalized. The teams will be organized and project management strategies will be set forth. The third phase is the explore phase in which the teams will work through the standard SAP business processes, compare them with the business processes that are already in place and find the fit gap items that are necessary to be resolved, either through changing the standard SAP processes or else making changes to the way that the business uh, conducts their processes today. This is an iterative process of working through what works for the business versus what standard SAP is. And then next is the realize phase in which the 
teams will resolve the fit gap items through configuration adopting to SAP standard, in other words, the business adopting to SAP, or RICE FW work with uh, reports or developments, thorough testing, and then finally, of course, training so that the users are starting to learn how to use the system that they will shortly be inheriting. The fifth phase is the deployment phase or deploy in which there will be final testing, the technical steps to bring the solution live, and the, finally, the cutover to the live system. And finally, the run phase, in which the solution is turned over and optimized for standard use over time. The first phase in this implementation process is the discover phase. This takes care of the following key items to kick off the project. First, the team would explore the solution in a pre-configured client. SAP provides a free 30-day trial, which is a wonderful option for the enterprise to get in there and kick the tires and find out what SAP is all about. Once that's done, the team can move on to accessing SAP use cases and project recommendations to begin planning for the implementation. And these are some of these accelerators that SAP has provided to assist in the implementation process that are now available. The team will want to create a value-based and company-specific strategy designed specifically for this implementation. And there is uh, a lot of help available in, in the SAP documentation for that. And they will also want to determine the implementation scenario that is going to take place. In other words, the, the broad scope of what's going to be happening here. Is this going to be a new implementation or a landscape transformation? Or is it going to be a system conversion? Next, they want to look at a high level roadmap of the entire project. How is that going to look? And then uh, consider how S4 HANA can improve or streamline business processes. And this is the beginning of uh, looking at a fit gap analysis, uh, just getting a sense of what might be possible uh, before proceeding to that step. And finally, they want to complete a business case uh, to present to management as a gate to get out of the discover phase. The second phase in the activate implementation is prepare. In the prepare phase, we take care of the following key items to lay the groundwork for a successful project. And this begins after the business case that was generated at the end of the discoverer phase is approved. The first thing we do is create an implementation plan first version based on the information of the discoverer phase. So we want to lay the groundwork for our project here in the prepare phase. We have discussions on the conversion strategy, so how we're going to go about getting from where we are now to where we want to be with S4 HANA. And then the general framework of the project is settled in terms of staffing, in terms of government, and in terms of the reporting requirements for the project uh, to management so that they are kept apprised of the process. The third phase of the methodology is explore. In this phase, we define the 2B structure of the S4 HANA solution. Functional gaps between standard SAP and business processes are discovered. They are documented, prioritized, and validated to be addressed in the realize phase. And ideally, what happens here is that they utilize the configured sandbox client for live review of standard processes. So the consultants and the end users would sit down and walk through in the pre-configured sandbox client an entire end-to-end -end scenario and see how SAP does it out of the box and compare it to how the enterprise does it now and see how adjustments can be made. Is it necessary for SAP to change? Is it possible for the business to change to get closer to how SAP standard works? And how do we fill those gaps? 
At that point, those are all documented and assigned a priority for work during the realize phase. The technical design is completed, both in terms of the design and also fully documented. Any custom code that it exists in the system prior to uh, conversion over to S4 HANA is reviewed for changes that will be required uh, during the realize phase. And the functional and technical elements of the solution that need to be documented are fully planned, the documentation is completed and signed off on, and is ready to be executed in the realized phase. So these are the gates that we need to go through to get through the explore phase. The fourth phase of the implementation methodology is the realize phase in which the team will implement functional and technical changes. The technical architecture and infrastructure, if this is an on-premise installation, will be set up. End user training is prepared. Custom code is reviewed and modified as needed for cloud and or for S4 HANA. So oftentimes there are minor or even major changes that are required for custom code to work properly in the cloud environment or in the S4 HANA environment. And functional gaps that were uncovered in the explore phase are addressed through configuration or through custom code based on the business priority. So there's the prioritization that takes place in the explore phase, and there's a list of these fit gap issues that are found. And here in the realize phase is where we address those changes that are required. And finally, implementation and analytic functions are readied. They're implemented, configured, integrated, and tested so that they're ready for the rest of the project. Now this is where it gets exciting. Phase five is the deploy phase in which the team will prepare to go live. We have the final testing. We have a cutover rehearsal to make sure that everything is ready to go. Infrastructure and operations are all finalized. We conduct end user training to make sure that the end users are all ready to use the system. And then we set up a cutover weekend to get ready for S4 HANA to go live. And then after the cutover to go live, there are a uh, usually a few weeks to a few months, uh, an extended period of increased support in case of issues that crop up called hypercare. And these can be performance issues, they can be bug fix issues, and they can also be system availability or reliability issues. In either case, it's normal for an implementation team to remain on site or at least uh, available for some time after go live to ensure that there are no major issues associated with the processes that have been put into place as part of the installation. And finally, we have the run phase. Operations are stabilized and optimized in the run phase. The changes to S4 HANA are introduced as needed and desired by business. So this is basically business as usual. The, the business will find that there's a function that they need to use or want to use, and they'll request incremental changes. And the platform for S4 HANA is ready for additional development through the Activate methodology, utilizing the Agile process. <laughs>